Breakfast for your spirit. Seeking God's word first thing in the morning. Have you ever wondered what Jesus did in his daily life? How did he spend his time, his energy, his resources? One of the passages that gives us a glimpse into Jesus' life is today's gospel reading, Luke 21, 37, 38. And every day he was teaching in the temple, but at night he went out and lodged on the mount called Olivet. And early in the morning, all the people came to him in the temple to hear him. This passage reveals two things about Jesus. One, Jesus' dedication to teaching. Jesus chose as his day job to teach in the temple. He did not seek fame or fortune, power or prestige. He sought to do the will of his Father who sent him to proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God. Jesus was faithful and obedient to his calling as a teacher. He did not neglect or compromise his duty. Jesus was passionate and enthusiastic about teaching. He did not teach out of obligation or duty, but out of joy and delight. He did not teach to condemn or criticize people, but to convict and transform them. He did not teach to burden or bind people, but to liberate and empower them. 2. Jesus' Popularity Among the People The passage also tells us that every morning all the people came to him in the temple to hear him. This shows how much the people were drawn to Jesus. They were hungry and thirsty for his words. The people came to Jesus early in the morning, when the sun was rising, when the birds were singing, when the air was fresh, when the day was new. They came to Jesus first thing in the morning, before they did anything else, when their hearts and minds were open, ready to receive, ready to learn, ready to grow, ready to follow. The people came to Jesus every morning, not just once in a while, but consistently, persistently, faithfully, diligently. Our turn, seeking God's word first thing in the morning. This got me thinking, what about me? How do I relate to Jesus and his teaching? Do I hunger and thirst for his words? Do I seek and listen to his words first thing in the morning? Do I come to him every morning first thing in the morning when my heart and mind are that they're most open? I reflected on this recently and asked myself these questions. I realized that sometimes I do not hunger for God's word as much as I should. Sometimes other things distract me from spending time with God. And that thing is my phone. There's a valid reason we're so attached to our phones. When you're holding your phone in front of your face, it's a window so wide it covers horizon to horizon. And it's a window to your life, to what's happening in your world with your friends, and what's happening to strangers you'll never meet in places you'll never go halfway around the world from you. I decided to challenge myself to grow in my desire for God's word. Instead of fighting against my phone, I decided to enlist my phone to fight for me. I decided to feed my inner man with his truth and promises first thing in the morning when my mind is most receptive. I look at my phone first thing in the morning, but not at my notifications or feeds. I open my browser to the lectionary readings of the day, and I read them, asking the Spirit to speak to me. I decided to follow Jesus' footsteps and to seek God with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. After all, when the ancients opened their books of prayer, they were using the cutting-edge tech of their day. Tech is not your enemy. Tech is a tool and a mirror. A tool to build your inner man and a mirror to reflect on your beliefs and behavior so that you might grow yourself. I hope this video helps you to seek God's voice first thing in the morning. Leave a comment or DM me. Links are in my profile. God bless.